Hi there, this is Dazzy Van Dam back with another video, uh, another Let's Compare video. This time it's Grand Prix Circuit on the ZX Spectrum, Amstrad CPC, Commodore 64, and the Amiga 500. Um, no Atari ST this time. Um, I looked everywhere on the internet and I just I couldn't find this anywhere for the Atari, so I'm just assuming it was never released on the Atari. But uh, it's one of these games that I've never played before. Um, I've been told it's quite good on the Commodore 64. So let's have a look. Now, here we go with the Spectrum version. I have no idea. Uh, we'll go McLaren. Oh, wow. Go. Straight away, it doesn't look particularly special. <laughs> Monaco GP on the Spectrum was probably the best Formula One game I can remember playing on the on the system. Uh, the races on the spectrum kind of they roll pretty smoothly, scroll pretty smoothly. Uh, this one kind of doesn't. Control seem okay. The graphics are very. It's called them lackluster. Not particularly good. Yeah, this game would have benefit benefited more from uh, in-game music, I think. It sound a little horrible. Because you're not done it. Uh, we got a damage meter. I've just noticed. I have mirrors at the sides. Look just for show. I can't. Maybe they will. I'm not qualifying. Ooh. Well, I hope this game picks up when there's other cars on the track. Cause it's, just... well, it's not good. I have been told that this was good on the Commodore 64, but uh, whether that's true, I don't know. But I guess it's kind of fun to play games that uh, I've never played before, and no idea what to expect on any system. But that's all part of the fun. The oh, pitting. Where the? Oh, that look, could be the pits, but maybe not. Where are the pits? Um, lost my lap complete. I've got to do another lap because I've gone over. Right, hang on. I'll just try damaging the car. That should get me back in the pits. I would imagine. Come on, come on, come on. It's a fucking horrible fucking engine sound. Toad to pits, that sounds good to me. Oh no. What the fuck is going on with this? This time I've got to get it in the pits. Awkward game already, just... Something as simple as doing a qualifying lap. You've 
water stopped perfectly in the pit. It's a game that forces you to play it, whether you like it or not. So far it's a not. While the other versions haven't got much to live up to if uh, if this is it on the spectrum. Now I'm imagining the Amstrad version of this. From what I've seen of Amstrad games, uh, pretty much the same but just more colourful. It's always a bit uh, dodgy with the uh, racing games on the Amstrad. Because they always end up a bit, uh, well, let's say outrunnish. If you've ever played outrun on the Amstrad, you know what I'm talking about. But then again, Chase HQ I've heard is really good. So who knows? Better than this, anyway. Oh, I've got to get rid of those pits. Where the fuck are they? I am not missing them this time. Oh, Accolade, they, uh, well, they they published Test Drive, Test Drive 2. Yes! Change all tyres. Right. Okay. Well, that's me finished. Is it not? I ain't going again. Am I? Am I fork? This is bullshit. So, so when the fuck does the actual race start? Well, this is one game that's pissed me off already. But um, yeah, this was Grand Prix circuit on the Spectrum. Try and start an actual race on the uh, Amstrad version. Let's just pull oh, Jesus. Oh, let's check out the Amstrad. Right, so here we are with the Amstrad CPC version. Oh, it looks. Pretty much the same. Um, we'll try championship circuits. A single race. Ferrari, Williams, McLaren. Oh, uh, go we'll McLaren. Choose a track. Um, Monaco. Yeah, we'll go on Monaco. I and mean, that was a good, uh, well, like a street track, wasn't it? Oh, not more qualifying. Sounds just as horrible as the Spectrum version, but it is nice and colourful. But it still oh, look at it. Yes, it plays badly. Very bad frame right here. Oh god, 
I just hope I can actually start a race this time around. Unlike this, well, unlike modern games, yeah, you get the uh, option to skip, skip qualifying. You don't with this. I don't know how you end up uh, actually starting a goddamn race. Oh shit in a bag. Yeah, this is less playable than the Spectrum version. Commodore version's good because uh, <laughs> I don't want to be covering crap games all the time. I've just done Street Fighter, so if you've seen that video, you know how bad that is. Yeah, this is bad, this is really bad. It's less controllable than the Spectrum version. The engine sounds just as annoying as the Spectrum version. Uh, this one doesn't control particularly well. And you can tell by that dot on the steering wheel it says. Maybe a precursor to Test Drive 2. Test Drive. I think this game was 1986, I think it said. I don't know. Surprised it never came out on the Atari ST. That's something else I'm going to have to look into. Because I couldn't find it anywhere. But the game is called Recommended, so... Oh, look at that. Oh, I didn't input a name number, but you can tell, yeah, I'm number 10. Oh, we're actually getting a race. Here we go. Oh, the other cars look quite good. Well. Wow. A lot of cars that occupy the same point, and <laughs> I don't know. I think that's a whole heap of cars there in front of me. Oh, who knows? I'm looking in the mirrors now, and I can't see anything. So the mirrors are just for sure. At least we're actually getting to race. Shit, 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 shit. Get over there. Oh, uh, no. Yeah, the controls are bad. It's almost like a slideshow now, it's just absolutely no control of this car. Yeah, it's a bad game. Look how big the cars actually are though. That's uh They take up the entire track near enough. Shit! Du, 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 du. Come on! Look how bad that frame rate is now. Oh, 
two frames per second if you're lucky to be over Fucking hell. now racing games are usually my thing but this this one however is boring as fuck it's awful of the frame rate you've got no sense of speed so I'm doing what 242 what is that miles per hour kilometers per hour yeah it really feels like it but the thing is you get to a corner it just flies off this game so mind-numbingly dull and boring come on pity you wouldn't blow up into bits oh that's close enough that's the best bit of action on this entire game well that was the Amstrad CPC version worse than the Spectrum version? I think so it's got colour, it looks nicer, but it plays shit. Alright, let's check out the C64. Now this one, it better be good. And here we go. Okay, here we go with the Commodore 64 version. Now this is the version that I've been told is good. So here's hoping. Straight away we've got some catchy music. Graphics seem pretty good. Okay. Uh we'll stick to the same as before, single race. Uh what did we do last time? Monaco. Well, it hasn't got to live up to much. The Amstrad version, bad. Spectrum version, bad. Let's see. Williams, um, did you get the same? Yeah, I'll become McLaren. Same as the rest of two. Well, so far it's looking a bit samey, which... Oh, it's a little bit... Uh, ooh! Now, that's a nice little feature. That was quite impressive, really, for a... Uh, well, if I'd have seen that when I was a kid, I would have lost my shit. Oh, in a moment of truth, here we go. Already, I would say that... The cockpit looks better than the uh, previous two versions. Uh, I am preparing to qualify. So we shall see. It cannot be any but any worse, sorry, than the previous two. I'm praying that this is good, otherwise um, that, may, that means I've made two crap videos in a row. Uh, when we eventually get there. Oh, here we go. Here we go, here we go, maybe. Here we 
go. And already I'm liking the sound effects better. It's not just a horrible sound, it actually sounds a bit like a Formula 1 car. Ooh. Hey, this controls well. Good frame, right? I actually feel like I'm moving. The mirrors, look, the mirrors actually make a difference, they actually reflect. We've got tunnels. Hey, this is playable. This is playable. Wow. Yeah, it's actually, it's fairly smooth. I would definitely say compared to the Spectrum and the Amstrad. This definitely blows those two versions out of the water. You wouldn't even think it was the same game to be honest. Oh and look at that, none of that stupid pit stop crap. Yeah. See now that's how a game should be, straightforward. So well I weren't lying, it is good on the C64. Not a bad little game, just from that. There's the real test. See, the opposition cars aren't all on top of one another. I am playing quite badly, but that's just me. I think frame rate has dropped a little bit when there's more sprites on the screen. But it's still good, still very playable. You actually feel like you're controlling the car. Graphically is good, the use of colours is good. Well I'm just thinking now if it's this good on the Commodore. What's the Amiga version gonna be lower? Now this is definitely a game I would have passed up as a kid because I would have had the Spectrum version. I wouldn't have given this the time of day back in the day. If I had this version, however, I would have been playing it non stop, I would imagine. Yeah. Well, yeah, I like that. Simply because I don't want to carry on just now because uh, the video is going to end up being a little bit too long and I don't have much time. I'm going to leave it there, but um, out of the micro computers, that is definitely the best version and um, possibly it might even be better than the Amiga version. But we'll have to find out. So, after the Amiga version, we go. Okay, so we're back again with the Amiga version and uh, as expected better music and also sound music crisper looking graphics again as to be expected um, okay we'll do a single race and we'll go Monaco again well 
guys here. This does look very good. I'll just stick to the McLaren this time. Yes. Look at that. Oh, yeah, that is a bit like Test Drive 2. Prepare to qualify. Here we go. Well, if it's any better than the uh, Commodore version, I'll be very impressed with this game. sound effects, nice engine sounds. Nice background, look at that. Now, despite me coming off the track like man mental there, the controls are good, it's just the driver is bad. It is very much like the uh, Commodore version, but polished right up. It's quicker, obviously. Smoother. So, yeah, it is better than the Commodore version, but... Um, there's nothing wrong with the Commodore version whatsoever. It's really good. Really good. It just hit with the power of the Amiga. It just looks crisper and nicer and just feels nice to play smoother. And none of that stupid pit stop crap. Good game, good game. Now let's get a race on the way. The man with no name, he cuts number five. Oh well. At least it wasn't last. <laughs> Think um, future video racing wise. Um, F one, F one was a good game. I know that I had it on the Mega Drive. I think it was called Vroom on the Amiga. Or whether or not it's actually released as F1, I don't know. But oh, look at these cars. Big, big sprites. Yeah, they're really, really detailed, really well drawn. Oh, they're not clipping into each other. I think they actually made contact there. Challenge. It's just about the right uh, balance between challenging and frustrating. So, I mean, if you get frustrated with this game, it just means you're playing it very, very, very badly. Yeah, it's a good little challenge. Good game. on the Spectrum and the Amstrad that they could have done a better job there, but uh, I don't know, I mean, I played Monaco GP on the Spectrum, as I said before, it, that, that run really well, so they could have done better on the Spectrum, they definitely could have done better, and I have no doubt the Amstrad could have done a lot better as well, but they just didn't put any effort into it whatsoever. There we go, there's a full lap anyway, so I'll leave that there because I don't want to carry on going and going and going and going, but yeah, there we have it. 
Oh, one other little difference I've just noticed. There's no, there doesn't appear to be any, um, it's not a damage bar. Or well, maybe there is up there. Let's just see if I can get any damage on. Just above the steering wheel, is that a damage bar? Oh well, well, you could take damage in the Spectrum in the uh, Amstrad version, but would appear in the Commodore and the Amiga version, you can't. Well, this is definitely the best version, without a shadow of a doubt. Well, that's another video, and I uh, hope you enjoyed it, and uh, catch you again next time.